heard Tilda Swinton in my head snapped up. Are you Tilda Swinton? Yeah. yeah. Can you imagine? Like, oh, uh, and Tilda Swinton's here. Come on in, have a seat. Welcome to Nightwatch. Uh, I mean, I can send an email for next year. Yeah, please. Please. All right. We can we can offer to just put her in an art display in the back. And yeah. She can sit there the whole run. See, yeah. the secret is, Andrew is not necessarily any better connected than any of us. Yeah. It's just that Andrew has absolutely no compunction against cold contacting yeah. people. Because it's like, I'll I'll cold what, contact anybody. Because what do I have to lose? Yeah. What's what, hey, and I always do my best to be. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> And I always do my best to be really polite and friendly and yeah. like, hey, what's no the, big. What's the worst Tilda Swinton's gonna do? Yeah. Say no? Yeah. Ignore you? Yeah. I mean, like, all, all of the emails that I've ever, like, uh, to Buchan Buchan was a cold email that was just like, hey, this is gonna be weird, but I assure you it's worth reading till the end of this email. My uh, sculpture teacher in art school uh, made weird, arty videos, and she used to just cold email musicians and say, yeah. hey, I'm a university professor, or I'm a student, or whatever, and uh, I'm working on this project. I'm not going to sell it. I'm not going to use it anything. Would I be able to use your song for the video? She got an email back from Enya. <laughs> nice. Nice. Wow. And she used Orinoco Flow in a video. Like she did Amazing. a couple of like that, not Orinoco Flow. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, she used a couple of like fairly big songs in videos just because she just had the courage to do it. Yeah. Yeah. As long as you're respectful of people's time and attention, yeah. be polite, be yeah. direct about what you want. And it's... I, I had a conversation about this with somebody the other day because they they were talking to me and they were like, well, like you know a lot of famous people, right? And I was like, I, I don't think so, but I, like, I guess, maybe. Uh, and they were like, well, no, like, you know, Loading Ready Run, and you know these people, and you know these other people. So yeah, and I, like, you know a lot of famous people. And I was like, well, I know a lot of people who might happen to be famous because of their job or whatever, but, like, the reason that you know people like that is because you treat them as people first before you treat them as being famous mm -hmm. kind of thing. Because mm -hmm. from their perspective... Like, yes, they're, you know, directing the latest MCU movie or, you know, writing incredible novels or doing this huge fundraiser and everything. But everybody's just people. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we all got to eat and clean our houses and get through the day and kind of do whatever. And you just, you be friendly with people like you would with anybody else. And don't worry about the fact that they're famous or connected or whatever, because it doesn't matter. If you're trying to be friends with them because they're famous, you're not treating them like they're people. We all launch our rockets into orbit the same way as everyone else. Yeah. One stage at a time. One stage at a time. Networking is just a fancy way of saying making friends. Yeah. Like that's, the, I, I see that all the time where people in the games industry would be like, oh, how do I network? How do I network? Kind of thing. Yeah. It's like, no, no, you're not, you're not going and trying to chat up, you know, Jade Raymond or yeah. Phil Spencer or whoever. Like you are, you are networking by chatting and making friends with the people around you yep. who are at your level and helping lift each other up and helping each other grow and helping each other get places in the industry. <laughs> Treat it like a business transaction. That's all you're going to yeah. get out of it. You have already messed up. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. And yeah. Oh, I hate it, that term. Don't make, don't make networking transactional. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. It's the, in chat, Uhak TCP says, IP once I like emailed, <laughs> once I emailed an obscure question about OpenGL textures to John Carmack because I was writing an OpenGL driver, he phoned me to answer the question. <laughs> oh. That, that sounds, tracks. Yeah, that sounds like wow. John Carmack. That's one of the things I kind of love about CompSci is that yeah. all of the people that made all the cool things are still alive and still go to conferences. Yeah, <laughs> I also like that, that probably from John Carmack's end, it's like. I, I don't feel like writing this out as an email. Yeah, so you're just yeah. gonna call them. We just phone you. I'm just gonna call you. <laughs> yeah.